Hello everyone and welcome once again to Scorpion Cigar Reviews. Today, I have something that's uh, a little special, uh, kind of new to the market. Um, I don't have you know all the details, but uh, I've recently uh, been uh, introduced to a company called uh, Leave the Cigar Club. And uh, they do some special things with uh, finding uh, some rare cigars, some uh, forgotten about lots, some discontinued lots, um, possibly some uh, open boxes of uh, special release that uh, typically you'd buy the whole box and somebody opened it and sold out one or two, so they've got you know, a handful of these cigars left. Um, and um, so what the deal is with uh, the Liga Cigar Club is for $25 a month, um, they send you three premium hand-rolled cigars, um, and then there's a little paper in there that tells you about the cigars, and um, it's pretty neat. So, and then they also have their own line, and forgive me, I don't see as well these days, but uh, I'm not going to bore you with the unboxing. Uh, there's plenty of reviewers out there that, you know, they cut the tape on the box, they open it up, and we look at this, look at it. Okay, great. Um, Plenty of people are doing that. I'm not going to do that. Uh, but I will touch on the you send the, the paper that tells you about the cigars that are in the packaging. And then one thing, um, I, I've only watched a few of these other reviews just kind of quickly, and none of them touched on, there's this, the, the heading at the top of the front of the page. It's actually a QR code. doesn't look like one, but you can make a QR code out of anything. It doesn't have to be a square box of squiggly lines. You can make a photograph a QR code, doesn't matter. And it's simple enough to do. Um, but anyway, so this QR code, uh, when you download the app for the Liga Cigar Club, um, and then you, uh, you open it up and you point your phone at this, um, a holographic image of uh, the owner, Brian, pops up and he pretty much reads to you everything's on the front of this page. Uh, so I'm not going to bore you with that. If you, you know, have a friend that's got one of these or whatever, you didn't realize that's what it did, try it out, it's kind of neat. Um, so this cigar, I don't see as well as I used to. It's a funny story. Actually, I had the LASIK surgery done so I could see without glasses. That's great, but now I need reading glasses because now I can't see anything close to me. So, uh, something to keep in mind if you're thinking about that. Um, so, since I can't see that anyway, I'm just gonna dive right into the cigar. So this is the House Blend. It's their very own cigar. And uh, I'm not going to uh, go into all the detail about the story with the band and everything, but it was originally designed to uh, be a seal for the um, cellophane. They didn't like the way it looked, and they stuck it on their band and said, oh, hey, look, this looks pretty cool. And it does. It does. So enough of that. I did read in there that this was a very smoky smelling cigar. And don't get me wrong, it's not because I'm sitting by the fire. This is smoky like a uh, Kentucky Fire Cured, something along those lines, but maybe not quite as, as potent as that. Okay, nice. The foot has got grains, more of that smoky flavor. Leather. A tack shop, basically, like a, uh, like a horse barn. Kinds of stuff in there, man. A lot going on. So I'm going to do just a basic guillotine cut. Don't take too much off the top. getting a whole lot of free light. Now, all right, so after uh, about 40 minutes or so in, 
I did pick up some of that uh, KFC flavor and the smoking of the cigar just lasted for a draw or two. And it was a pleasant surprise because I, I like changes in the cigar as I'm smoking it. It's still there, but it's subtle. Still picking up the typical San Andreas wrapper, a little bit spicy. Um, and it, it's a different kind of spice on the San Andreas wrapper than you know, just chili peppers or red peppers or habaneros or jalapenos. You know, it, it's still got that, but there's a different kind of spice, more of a uh, an earthy spice. I'm picking that up, but it's being masked slightly by the fact that it was fire cured. The burn has still been flawless. Haven't had to touch it up at all. Ash is holding true. I'm able to roll it off on the edge of the in the cigar ashtray. And I haven't had anything come flaking off flying around, so that's that's nice. I, I like that it's not a dirty cigar. I'm not getting all this ash all over the place. So construction is fantastic. I did get just a little bit where it started coming around before I took the band off, which is why I don't like to take the band off before it gets to the band. But I wanted to see what the deal was with the little sticker thing on the band. And then that uh, enabled it to loosen up a little bit. Not a big deal. It's not coming unraveled. I just see where it's loosened up a little bit. But it's still holding together. Yeah, I'm definitely getting more of that uh, fire cured tobacco note in the smoking of the cigar now. Dry cedar note. Kind of cinnamony. Yeah, it's definitely pleasant. Um, this is one of those cigars that if you don't sit down and really think about every flavor that you're getting, you're going to miss a lot. The first third, everything was really bound and I couldn't pick it out. And at that point I thought it would be something that you didn't really pay a whole lot of attention to. You just smoked it and enjoyed it and didn't really think about it. But after about 20 or 30 minutes, I started picking up some other flavors, and I started thinking about it, really paying attention to what was coming through. And that's when I started picking up some of these other flavor characteristics. Most of us have some type of ritual we go through when we sit down and smoke our cigar. Not everybody does, but a good number of us do. We get everything set up a certain way, and get your drink ready, and you get this ready, and get that ready, and you, 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 you sniff, and you clip, and you draw, and then you get around to where you light it, and then you pick up some nuances. And that first 20 minutes, you could almost just say, I haven't gotten anything ready yet. I did my clipping, and my pre-light draw, and my sniffing. And then I moved around the room, I got my drink set up, I got this set up, got that set up, whatever. And then after 20 minutes, you're ready to sit down or really get into the cigar. And that's when you start picking up the flavor characteristics. After about 20 or 30 minutes. Those flavors have opened up as I had hoped. I wasn't expecting the cinnamon. What I did expect was the fire cured note. And I didn't get that in the first 20 minutes. But I'm getting it now. But 
this is still, it's not at all like the uh, Drew Estate Kentucky Fire Cure. I did a video on that, so if you want to know what my thoughts were on that, watch that video. But just to touch on that, that reminded me of sitting by a campfire and having bacon and eggs, sausage, that kind of thing. This doesn't remind me of that. It's a very subtle hint of the fire period. Not really getting that salty sea air note anymore. Definitely getting the spice. Definitely getting the cinnamon. I'm not getting the chili pepper note. It's more of a hot spicy cinnamon like like those cinnamon disc candies now. Not sweet, but that spiciness. It's definitely been an enjoyable cigar. It's been a nice journey. Started off a little a little slow for me. Not necessarily disappointing. But it didn't have it didn't have a lot of profile to note in that first 20 minutes. I think that's because <clears throat> the flavors were still kind of found and as they started opening up, that's when I was picking them all out in the sweet spot right in the middle. It's not a boring cigar, I can tell you that. There's a lot going on, and there's still some things in there that I'm having trouble picking out. Some flavors that are still kind of bound together. And the problem with when the flavors are bound, not just because you can't pick out each individual one within that group, but it changes the overall profile of that particular group of flavors. that you can't say, well, it's got this, this, and this, I can taste those three things in there. When you mix those three things together, they give you a singular, separate taste than any of the three other components, for example. Not on me. Um, so, uh, as I was saying, I, I didn't have my cigar scoring sheet in front of me, so I didn't keep score of the cigar and write down all my notes and everything, but just based on what I've experienced here, I can easily give this 90. Definitely. So I thank you for once again watching Scorpion Cigar Reviews. This has been the My Blue Heaven from Pravada Cigars. Check them out. Uh, Pravada Cigar Club. And uh, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.